the Yellow Vests movement started in November 2018 in France. It started first as a revolt against uh, the price of fuel going up, against speed limitation on secondary streets, roads. It started like that. And the yellow vest is what uh, car drivers wear when there's a problem with their car. But it, it's fluorescent, so it was something that showed clearly. And they started occupying the roundabouts and discussing and contesting the policies of Emmanuel Macron. And suddenly the movement became a proliferating huge movement, very heterogeneous. But from fuel price and uh, speed limitation, it went to wages, salaries, social injustice, uh, economic insecurity, and it turned into an anti-elite and anti-Macron movement. The main uh, claim being out with Macron, the president, and uh, asking for direct democracy against the elites, feeling not represented, asking for citizen initiative referenda. It was not organized according to the traditional divide between left and right. In those demos that I attended, I saw many people with no political affiliation and many people who did not even vote. What they wanted to say is, we are not happy because we cannot make ends meet at the end of the month. We are working people and our income is I mean, diminishing, and we want to have more social policies. Uh, but very soon, as 10 of thousand citizens demonstrated every Saturday, the extremes, both the extreme left and the extreme right said, wow, so many people on the street each and every Saturday we should try to go to them, speak to them, and spread our propaganda. So very quickly, the extreme right became interested. Because some people in the demos were basically populists of the kind, we are betrayed by the elite. So what the small extreme right fringe movement told them is, Okay, you are betrayed by the elites, but we will explain you why and how. And they try to sell this kind of conspiracy theories about the Rothschild, because uh, President Macron has worked, in fact, for, I think, three years for the Rothschild Bank. So he's a tool of the Rothschild. He's a puppet of uh, big money, big international money. And this is the explanation for everything that goes wrong in your everyday life. And it was quite successful. It was only a fringe segment of, the, of those demonstrating, but they made much noise and much harm. And then came the extreme left, uh, and basically what they told the uh, demonstrators was of the same kind. Big money versus the small people. There were posters and cartoons showing Macron, like in the 30s, the cartoons of the 30s, the capitalist uh, banker with the cigar and, uh, and the top hat. So it's, it very insidiously can move to anti-Semitic cartoons. There were very unpalatable things said in the demonstrations. And also, I, uh, there is that uh, humorist, uh, anti-Semitic humorist, Dieudonné, and he has created a gesture, which is a gesture opposing elites, but more specifically anti-Semitic, which is called the Kennel, and which looks like a Nazi salute, but in reverse. That gesture of the Kennel was done in some of their demonstration. That means that the Yellow Vests, they are such a large, heterogeneous movement, you cannot say they are an anti-Semitic movement. But these demonstrations let uh, the possibility for anti-Semitic comments to surge. And they are not manipulated, but they are used, these demonstrations, by ultra-right and ultra-left groups. But the ultra-left groups would be more critical of Israel and anti-Zionist, and the extreme-right groups clearly using the good old 
anti-Jewish stereotypes associating Jews to money, power and influence. Thank you.